Hi, I think I may have to give up on this one. Story of my life. There's a break in the filament circuit. And um, as you're looking at the tube diagram, on the bottom row, 6C4 is lit. Uh, can't read that on damn eyesight. The one next to it, Counting from the left, the extreme left bottom is a 6C4. I can't read that in the second one. That's out. The 6U8 is out. The OB2 or OA2 uh, wouldn't light anyways because it needs the high voltage. The, um, I think that's a 6AW8. And then a 6AQ5. Those are both lit. I can't get any light out of the 6AL5. The two top tubes there, uh, they both light. In other words, this is your... Get in here and get in camera, you stupid goat. This is a 6AQ5. This is a 6AW8. This is the OA2 or OB2 or whatever, the voltage regulator. You won't expect that to light. That's a gas thyrotron. Uh, DC-6, six, I believe, du is not lit. 6U8 uh, is not lit. 6C4 is lit. And the 6AL5, which is buried way up in there, impossible to get at anything, can't even see the filament pins at all on any of these tubes. It's impossible without tearing it all out and cutting all the wires off. Here is the schematic, slightly blown up so I can read it. The tubes with the red dot are the ones that are not lit. The 6AL5 filament pins are supposed to be 3 and 4, but it's showing 4 and 5. Either that's, that is not a 3, but I know better. I looked into the tube manual. Now, R37 is a 6.8 ohm resistor. I have no idea where that is. It's buried in that rat's nest, and I'll never find it. So even if that resistor was out and you're getting your 6.3 volts on pin 8, again, the schematic is horrible. All the numbers are smeared. Thank you, buddy, for giving me the pin out. But I did find them on my own, but um, I got your notations here. Pin and 3 and 7 is the speaker. Okay, that I found on my own before I checked your posting. Uh, pins 2 and 6, common negative, yes, I established that. Uh, pin 8, 6.3, yes. And pin 4, 220 volts on pin 4. Okay. And to turn it on, short pins 1 and 5. I did that, of course, then the on and off switch does not function on the radio anymore if you do that, but uh, that's okay. And these are the tubes that do not light. I could not see any light on the 6AL5. Extremely hard to see because all the tubes are black on top. Every tube in this radio tests good. No shorts, very good emissions. And they're all general electric tubes. Somebody had asked me about that. Now as you're looking at the radio here, these tubes down the bottom here, these two, light, this one here, and the one behind the tube location diagram, okay? 6AQ5 lights, 6AW8 lights, off camera again. 6AQ5 lights, 6AW8 lights. This is the voltage regulator. You won't see that lighting, except when the high voltage is on. Um, don't know what to do there. 6DC6, I think. 
I think so. All right, that does not light. The 6U8 does not light. And the 6C4 over here lights. The 6DC6 does not light, but it shares the exact same filament string. 3 and 4, 3 and 4. 3 and 4 of the 6C4, it's getting its power, but why the hell doesn't the 6DC6 light? Tube is good. Lights up in a tester and good emission. All right, the rest of this string is all on the same string on the top row here. Pin number 8 is 6.3 volts. Pin number 6 is common negative. And on the bottom row here, because these tubes, I guess, are wired for in series or in parallel, depending on whether you're using 12 volts or with 6 volts. 6U8 does not light. It shares the same power string. They're in parallel. The 6AW8 lights. The 6AL5 does not light. At least I cannot see it. R37 is a 6.8 ohm 1 watt resistor. According to the manual, which I have, sorry I'm shaky, I'm holding a damn camera, trying to do the best I can on these videos. Uh, I'm using the Sony so I can get you some close ups. Uh, the 6BH6 lights, the 6AQ5 lights. It's a weird setup on the string. This is your power plug wiring for 6 volts. If you were doing it for 12 volt on the filament, you'd be using this wiring here. But when using 6 volts, making a power supply is not a problem. It's finding, getting these tubes to light, and if I have to go into this nightmare of a circuit, I can't do it. So... That's it. All the tubes test good, as I said. I got my connections on the back. I'm drawing a little over 2 amps. Filament circuit, 6.3 volts. Running it with my power supply here. So, I can't... How the hell am I supposed to work in there? Impossible. I don't think the best of us could do it. It's a rat's nest. I mean, you know, like, like I have mentioned before, and I'm not going to carry on too much about this, solid state is virtually impossible for me to work on unless the stuff is spread out. And I had mentioned before that there are some vacuum tube stuff that is so crowded it's virtually impossible to work on. I'd have to cut all these wires, all these leads out of here just to trace out the filament circuit. If there's a break in, there's got to be a break in the filament circuit, and it can't be R37, that's 6.8 ohm, 1 watt resistor, which is right here. Because if that was burned out, that would only stop the 6AL5 from lighting. It would not affect the rest of this. Not only that, I have no idea where that resistor is. No idea. This resistor here is on the B+. Plus, so it wouldn't be that. And there's one wax cap here, but it goes to the earphone jack. So I'm afraid on this one, We're going to have to close it up. Too bad. I was looking forward to making a little power supply for it. That wouldn't be too hard. I mean, I got a power transformer. I don't know if the filament, uh, would hand, uh, filament tap would handle it. But that's the least of my worries.
And these uh, bumblebees here, I'd only be able to reach in and get two of them. I wouldn't be able to replace all them because I can't get in there. You know me with tight quarters, I just can't work in tight quarters. So it looks like this is a failure. Thanks for watching.